Hi there, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the 3D printer build that I'm doing at the moment using the Hiwin and Robot Dig linear rails, the High Torque NEMA 17 motors, and the uh, the stepper motor dampers, as well as a few other bits and bobs that I'm incorporating. So at the moment, you can see the motor, you can see the 3D printed bracket I've put for it, the um, the 16 tooth GT2. Uh, uh, drive pulley is mounted on there and you can see how I've mounted the uh, stepper motor damper uh, with the M3 screws. Here you can see my X uh, uh, carriage on top of the gantry, the X gantry um, and that's where I'm using the high wind uh, linear rail and carriage and the, one of the things I wanted to show you was the noise just a 3mm uh, flat is what's providing the, um, the structure that that MGN9 rail is attached to. I've threaded that and I've got a few M3 bolts, uh, not in every hole, but in, in uh, every three going through, and it's really quiet. However, underneath we've got the uh, MGN9 uh, equivalent from Robot Dig mounted to the aluminium 2020 extrusion and I have to say I'm not really happy with the noise that's coming out of them. Now I'm going to take the high wind off and also attach it to the extrusion in a minute just to see whether that's a function of the robot dig rails being attached to the frame which may be resonating uh, compared to the 3mm aluminium flat that the high wind rail is attached to. So let me just give you an, an idea of the noise that you get from the robot dig ones and then I'll follow it up with a bit more of the high wind rail. And this is the high wind noise. So I'll detach the high wind rail, I'll attach that using the 3mm uh, T-nuts onto a bit of extrusion and we'll do a noise comparison. So I've now taken the high wind linear rail off the uh, the gantry and I've attached it using the T-nuts and the M3 uh, screws uh, into the 2020 extrusion and that's the level of noise we're getting. This is what we get for the robot dig ones. Now you could say well that's due to the orientation, um, it could be because we've got two of the robot dig uh, guides moving every time that goes up and down but to me it, it sounds like a significant dif uh, difference so I think I'm going to be investing in the 450mm high wind linear rails and long carriages to go with them and we'll probably relegate the uh, robot dig ones to the z-axis. Um, when the 450mm high winds get here, I'll, uh, I'll rebuild the whole thing and we'll do a, a sound comparison with uh, a comparable gantry between each of them and we'll make sure we flip the frame over so we can tell whether it's the, um, the top level or the bottom level has a, an issue with resonance as well.